an NTTV special report, UNT Prez Talks with Dr. Neil Samatrisk. Hi, and welcome back to another UNT Prez Talk, where we have a real conversation with UNT President Neil Samatresk. I'm your host, Michaela Goose. How are you doing today, President Samatresk? I'm doing great. Good to see you, Michaela. Good to see you, too. Doing great. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. Governor Greg Abbott last week banned gatherings of more than 100 people. Will this affect sporting events, large classes, or any other UNT gathering that has been planned for the upcoming fall semester? Well, certainly if it persists to through August, and I think there's a good chance that it will because of the surge, uh, it would make running sporting events very difficult. So we'd have to reconsider things like football and basketball for sure. And going off of sports last week, uh, one UNT football player, player, I believe, and three athletic staffers did test positive for COVID-19. Has this affected the athletic department and how they run practices and how they are slowly bringing student athletes back onto their fields? Well, as you probably know, the uh, athletics and football in particular have had a very rigorous testing protocol. So every single student got tested as a student athlete got tested when they came to campus. They've also worked in kind of isolated pods so that if there was a breakout in one area, it wouldn't impact all the other areas. This is the time of year when student athletes kind of get back into shape and physically conditioned for the season. And so they've got strict rotation cycles for the weight room and they've got disinfecting disinfecting, um, protocols. So I think they're taking every reasonable precaution, but Of course, what's happening in the greater public right now, I think, is um, of greater concern than what's happening in our football team. If the students stay isolated, I actually think they're probably going to be pretty safe uh, and athletes stay isolated. But the few in uh, the few uh, positive tests that we've had for right now, as far as I can tell, are limited just to those few students but we haven't got all the test results back and they're coming back in waves. So we're gonna play it by ear. We're, we're gonna see if we get a surge in infections uh, amongst the football players. Uh, we'll probably have to go back to uh, some type of shelter in place kind of circumstance. Or, uh, and I'm sure our athletic director is very much on top of that. Okay, and once those athletic staffers and that football player were tested positive, what happened? Were they immediately pulled from all contact and not coming to practices or things like that? Yes, and everybody who they came in contact with was then retested and uh, asked to shelter in place or self-isolate. Okay, and moving from that to more COVID-19 news, our favorite topic, Uh, The UNT parking garage is now the host of its very own drive-through testing site. How does this testing site work exactly? And what is it like for UNT to be once again, a part of slowing the spread of this virus? Well, certainly testing for the general public is really important. What we've done is offer the public health uh, here in Denton, uh, public health service in Denton, a chance to set up a very accessible place that's covered so that there's protection from the weather and the elements. Uh, So as one of the bigger parking structures uh, in Denton, I think uh, we've just performed a service. It doesn't directly interact with our own testing protocols, which we have ongoing right now, or our own tracing and contact tracing protocols. So it's a public service and we're glad to help. And I think it's just absolutely amazing that UNT is doing its part in order to help this pandemic, whether that be offering our property to the Denton County Public Health or testing our own athletes. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much, President Samatras, for joining us. Well, once again, it's always a pleasure working with you and uh, getting a chance to see the team. So I hope you have a great week. You you as well. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. You've been watching an NTTV special report, UNT Prez Talks with Dr. Neil Smotrisk.